I thought I'd do two videos today because whilst the S24 Ultra is definitely better than the iPhone 16 Pro Max in a lot of ways, so is the Fold 6, but it's a completely different proposition. So let's go through 10 advantages this has over the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Let's go. A folding phone should never really be compared to a slab phone, but at this end of the market with the prices that are being sort of bandied around, you probably can start to consider a folding phone when you look at the price of what you get for just a normal flat phone. So here's 10 reasons why the Z Fold 6 is better. Number one, it, it folds. You have two screens, a phone on the front and a tablet on the inside. You've got that one-handed ease of use when the phone is closed. So you can just easily navigate around on the 6.3 inch cover screen and it operates like a normal phone. But when you need it, its teammate on the inside opens up and expands to a tablet size screen. You basically have an iPhone and an iPad mini in one device. You don't need to go out and get two. It's all here in one. We'll talk about all the stuff that display allows for as the video goes on. But just to start with, the fact you have a folding screen gives you that advantage straight away. Number two, multitasking. And that's the first advantage of that bigger screen because you can fit two apps side by side. You can add in a third app on that sort of squarish display on the middle, or you can add in a pop-up window depending on what it is you like to do. It just gives you that freedom, that confidence to know that if you want to get stuff done, you don't need to go and find a bigger device. You can just unfold the one that's in your pocket and you have the thing you need to do. So convenient to go on the move with. And just the fact that you've got the software that Samsung put in with the multitasking gives you that confidence. Things like the, the taskbar where you can drag things into place and position them on the screen so handy and so convenient number three is the s pen now the s pen doesn't come inside the device nor does it come in the box but the fact that you can purchase this as an accessory is something the iphone still doesn't have the advantage of doing you can't buy the apple pencil to support the iphone because apple haven't turned on or made that available so the s pen supporting that inner display on the z fold 6 means you can expand your productivity and creativity with that larger canvas the s pen with the z fold 6 takes advantage of a lot of different facets, whether it be the productivity of Samsung Notes or whether it be the creativity now with Galaxy AI, you've got the option to really sort of tinker and use the S Pen any way you sort of like. Fold 6 can do it. Number four, closely tied to productivity is DeX. I mentioned this in the S24 Ultra video too. The DeX experience on a phone truly transforms it. I think for me, the Fold kind of even elevated again because of the fact you have a tablet always in your pocket, but if you do need that bigger screen again, you can use it. You can expand it out onto a, a lap dock, which is basically a shell with a battery and a screen, and your phone tr projects onto it, keyboard and mouse, away you go. Or things like my monitor behind me, or a TV, which you can wirelessly project decks onto. It's so transformative and makes the experience so much better. Number five, is the overall camera experience. I'm not stupid. The cameras on here aren't as good as the cameras on the iPhone 16 Pro Max. I'll admit that straight away. But the overall camera package and what you can do with it is truly transformative. Reason I say that is because this thing can go like this. You can hold it up on its own on a flat surface and you have a tripod. And even if the software didn't do all the stuff that it did, whether that be things like auto framing, or whether that be the flex mode software that activates, this is still a better experience than any other slab smile phone you can have. Because no matter what you've got, no matter where you are, you have a portable content machine ready to capture. And the output is good enough that for most people, it will be completely fine. There's no need to worry or stress that, oh, the hardware and the output's not gonna be good because it will be. You won't notice it if you're isolating it on its own. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will never be able to do what the Fold 6 can do when it comes to camera. Trust me. Number six is the One UI experience. And that is all of the software that Samsung have built, not just in the foldable experience, but just One UI in general. All of the customization stuff and extended in through GoodLock as well. All of the things like edge panels, where you have shortcuts into apps, shortcuts into tasks, all of that sort of stuff makes this what it is over other sort of software experiences. The thing I like with One UI 2 is Samsung have sort of got things hidden as well. So if you're someone who likes exploring, you can go into things like advanced features, into labs menus, and you've got extra stuff that you can tinker and play with 
to make the phone truly and uniquely yours. My favorite thing right now is the always on display. This always on display where you can like sort of blacken out the background and it sort of keeps the foreground is so good because you just tap and the animation to bring in the foreground and the background together, stupendous. I love it. Number seven, Galaxy AI. And I think for me, where this wins is that it's here. It's fully fledged and it's out. Apple intelligence still hasn't made its way to iPhones yet. And the 16 Pro Max, whilst all of the stuff they talked about, they're saying in most markets, they're not even gonna be available until either the end of this year or well into next year. Galaxy AI is here. All of the functions work. And with the new update that's being pushed out to all the older phones too, it's available on more phones. But I really love Galaxy AI for all of the productivity stuff that they give you. All the Samsung Notes things like summarizing sort of big long notes or formatting them so they look a lot neater. All the stuff in the web browser where you can actually go in and summarize web pages or translate stuff. It's all in there already. You don't have to wait for updates to be pushed and you might not ever get them if Apple decides to push them again. Number eight is the entertainment features. What I really like about the entertainment features on the Fold is the fact that the software and the hardware kind of combine together to give you a really good experience. I ruffled some feathers on X the other week when I put a photo up of the phone in this half flex state and saying, show me when your iPhone can do this. And people completely misinterpreted my point. They thought, oh, YouTube video, yeah, we can watch that, but you can't watch it conveniently. You can't use what's in your pocket to just prop the phone up on any flat surface and have an entertainment device sitting there. You need to add something to that. You need an accessory. You need a case. And those cases, people said $2 case, they're cheap. They're not gonna last. You're gonna have to go through a lot of them. This will stand the test of time because it just literally sits there. And the software transforms it too where you can actually have controls on the bottom and the video playing on the top. But Samsung have also built stuff around that where if the app doesn't support it, they've built it in for them. The flex mode panel is exceptional and things like Spotify, because again, the same sort of thing, volume controls, media controls down the bottom, the music sort of playing at the top half. So entertainment wise, this is a really good package. But even if that software didn't exist and even if the phone didn't hold itself like this, the fact you have this big giant tablet when it's open means that you've got this massive canvas for all your entertainment. Number nine is ecosystem. Again, I might sound crazy because ecosystem isn't necessarily something that you would think about Apple versus Samsung as Samsung being better, but the ecosystem story doesn't stop with mobile products. It doesn't stop with buds and watch and tablet and laptop. It expands further. You have the ecosystem of the home. You have things like the Viewfinity monitor. You have the frame TV. You have just above there, you can't see it, Samsung air conditioners. These all are controlled by the Samsung SmartThings app, where you can go in and granularly control things and set up modes and routines and scenes that sort of are automated, all directly from your phone and from Samsung's native ecosystem. Yes, SmartThings is available on other platforms. Samsung have made it, they've opened it up. But natively, working within Samsung's ecosystem is when it works best. So that is why for me, ecosystem puts Samsung above Apple. And number 10, it's just innovative. You're not walking around with the same as what has been out there before or an iteration of what's already existing. You're walking around with something new and fresh that can change your behavior of how you use a phone because you've got this cover screen where you can have your smartphone interactions and then you've got your tablet screen which can have your more meaningful interactions, your productivity, your entertainment. That's more innovative than just a phone with a new button. So I think for me, what I really like about this and even over the S24 Ultra, if I'm honest, is that this changes my behavior. I don't just do the same things I did before. I try and do something different. I form new habits. I can do more from this. And I've often sat there thinking, I don't need to go get my laptop. I'll just open my phone up and get it done that way. The transformative behavior and the innovation of the hardware is what truly makes this a better experience over something like an iPhone 16 Pro Max. Now, I know not everyone's going to agree. A lot of people will say, oh, it's fragile. Oh, the display is going to break. The hinge is weak. And it's fine. You're entitled to have those thoughts. But until you've used a foldable every day of your life and 
experienced it in a way that you don't get any of those issues because I've had six of them now and not one has given me any trouble. I think you don't know and you can't truly judge it properly. And in saying that, I've also limited use of iOS, but in my five minutes of always new iOS that I use, I'm immediately bored. And I know that's probably not fair on iOS because I'm sure there's stuff in there. But for me, I just, I don't appreciate Apple's view and take on building a smartphone and their closed off ecosystem. I like open, I like partnerships and I like working together and collaborating. That's why this is better. Hit subscribe, take what benefit, lots of stuff on the way. I'll see you guys in the next one.